Hey guys! So if you saw yesterday's video where I was talking about the Neutrogena Crease Proof Eyeshadow, I was saying that I was going to go to Ulta later in the day and maybe get some more shades because I really enjoy the taupe one that I have and I saw on the Ulta website that they had marked down the price 50% off the original price. Now these normally go for $8.99 a piece so I saw that they had them for $4.49 a piece. Is that half? Yeah. <laughs> um, so I went to Ulta and they didn't have any kind of signage or anything on the shelf that would indicate that these were discounted. So I had a um, I had enough points on my Ulta rewards system that I, if they had been $4.49 a piece, I would have been able to get two for free. So I looked at what they had for colors and I picked out two that I thought I would like. Now, first of all, when I saw that these were half off on the Ulta website, I thought to myself, well, I'm not going to get too enamored with any of the shades that they have because at that price they probably won't have that much to pick from and lo and behold they had all six shades there are six shades in the lineup and they had all six now I already had the taupe so I was really surprised that they had the other five so I had a hard time deciding because they were all really nice and what I ended up getting was the silver and the pink. I have the silver on today and that's what I'm going to show you and then I'll show you the pink one in another video. So I picked out the pink and the silver, took them up to the counter and I told the girl you know what I just told you and I said can you scan one to see if they ring up half off and so she did and they did so I got those two shades and this morning went back on the Ulta website and discovered that not every shade was that price so what I am deducing from all this information that I have since found out is that it looks like Neutrogena is discontinuing all the shades except for two the, because the taupe and the copper are still the original price. So I believe that the gold, the silver, the pink, and the plum are most likely being discontinued because they are now half the original price. So uh, based on that, you know take what you want from that because I don't know this a hundred percent this is just the way I'm interpreting it so anyway here is the silver very very pretty and what I do with these eyeshadows I don't put them directly on my skin I feel like the texture of them uh, wouldn't be that type of eyeshadow that you could just put it on your skin so I put on a base first yesterday I used the MAC painterly paint pot and today I used the Lorac behind the scenes eye primer I wanted to try out a couple different primers to see how it would be and yeah I feel like you need to put something down first now with the MAC painterly paint pot that's awesome for me as a primer because I've got some discoloration and veining that I would like to cover up first before I start laying down eyeshadow. With the Lorac Behind the Scenes Primer, it's clear, so it doesn't really do that. It's just going to make the eyeshadows go on nicer, but it isn't going to cover up any discoloration or veining. So if you look really closely, you can see um, those imperfections, but I just wanted to try it to compare to see how the eyeshadows would perform over it. So this is a really pretty silver anyway and I'm going to swatch this on my arm just so you can see how it looks on bare skin. So really pretty on bare skin but I just I feel like these perform better if you put a primer down first. 
Then what I did was I put a powder eyeshadow on top and once again I reached for my new Lorac Pro 2 palette and I used the silver over it. And whenever you use a colored cream base and then put a corresponding powdered shadow over it, you're always going to get a better finished look and outcome and it's just going to fill in the gaps and make it look more polished and finished. I, I really like doing that and I've also been enjoying just using one color and then taking that a little bit into the outer part of the crease and just doing that one eyeshadow look, taking some of whatever I use for a powdered eyeshadow and bringing it down a little bit along the lower lash line. But with the silver, it didn't look like it was done. So what I did today that I didn't do yesterday was I took my eyeliner that I used, which is the uh, Maybelline Master Kajal eyeliner in Charcoal Skies. That is right, right? I'm always questioning myself and then I look it up and that's what it says. Yeah, Charcoal Skies. And I put that a little bit on the waterline and I pretty much went from the outer corner to maybe two-thirds of the way across. I just felt like that looked better with the silver underneath it because without that it just wouldn't look done. So that's what I did anyway. But yeah, the, the silver, so the silver, the pink, the gold, and the plum are all half the original price at Ulta right now and I would say it looks like they're probably going to not be carrying those four shades anymore. The gold is pretty but I have something very similar already so I don't really need to get that and then the plum is really pretty but it's kind of dark. Too dark I feel for my skin tone but if you have medium to dark skin I think the plum would probably be gorgeous on you and you might want to give that a look. Um, so I don't think I would get the plum because I feel like it's too dark for me. And then the copper is really pretty but um, <laughs> I don't want to pay full price. Plus I don't know about that shade on me. I'm not I'm not willing to try it because I feel like maybe it's so warm toned that probably wouldn't look that great on me but if you have warm toned skin and I think that would look good on anybody whether they were light medium or deep but if you have warm toned skin you may want to take a look at that copper because it is a really really gorgeous shade. So that's what I did today and you know I always list all my makeup that I'm wearing in the description box if you ever want to know about you know nail polish or what's on my lips or blush or anything like that. But that's all for today and I did want to give you that additional information that I had figured out about the Neutrogena eyeshadows. And today is election day so I will most definitely be going out to vote and if you think that your vote doesn't make a difference it really does because if everybody didn't vote or stayed home that could vote, elections would, who knows what kind of difference that would make with the actual outcome. A lot of times voting or elections are really close and just those few votes can make a difference in who wins. So absolutely get out there and vote if you're registered. If you're not registered, then you should register so that next time you can vote because yeah, sometimes those few votes can really swing the whole election. So get out there and get out there and do your civic duty and vote. And I will definitely be voting today. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.